Welcome back, my name is Benji, and today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 for arguably the Queen episodes of this Eoloco Meta series. Today we're going to be starting the Giro d'Italia, the race we've been building up to for this entire series so far. Our goals in it? Quite simple, I want to win stages, I want to win the Malia Azura at the end of this Grand Tour, and I'd like to have some fun along the way. Parkour-wise, we are dealing with the 2021 variant of this race, which means that we're doing the one Bernal one in real life. In regards to stages, that means we've got the Montalcino stage, Montezoncolan, Cortina Lampezzo, Segariala, and so forth. In all honesty, a lot of people have been asking me to uh, try and win Montezoncolan, but I think that might be the hardest mountain stage to win in this race, because it's difficult to win stages from the breakaway that only have the final mountain. For example, I'm guessing that winning stage 12 might be easier than the Zoncolan stage, for example. Panio di Romagna, we've got a bit of a transitioning stage. If we can get into the breakaway with a climber that is on like 20, 25 or more minutes, then we might have a free go at the stage. Strategy-wise, that does mean that I need to lose time in the first few days, which means that it might not be likely that we ever wear the Malia Rosa this season, at least. So in the first time trial, I'll probably put some of my riders on a very low stat to take as much time as possible to send them in the breakaway in every single stage afterwards. Squad-wise, we do have our two spear points at the start, which is Fortunato with 76 Mountain now, 73 Hill. We've got Luca Wackerman, the legend of Aeolo so far. 74 Hill, 70 Mountain, 73 Acceleration and 71 Sprint. So the punchy sprinter for us. Archibald the time trial is 73-73. We've got him as a uh, ruler as well, I guess. Fancello with 74 Mountain, 70 Hill. Not too much acceleration, so he's better off as a uh, Luxury Domestique for Fortunato or going for a stage that finishes in a mountain himself. Albanese, 71 Hill, 74 Acceleration, 71 Sprint. Might be the rider we try and put in the breakaway early on in this Giro to try and replicate what he does in real life, getting the Malia Azura early and losing it to uh, hopefully a better rider in our team like Fortunato or something. Two Hungarians are present too, Dina and Fetter. Dina the climber, Fetter the puncher, and then we've got Gavazzi as our last rider. 72 hill, 71 acceleration. A bit old, but still very valuable for the team. Surprisingly, there's a lot of demotivated riders in our team, and I don't know why, because I've got the feeling they've all got good race days, but they're all saying that they don't have enough race days. So, I guess you're gonna have 21 in a row now, so just stop complaining, damn it. The Giro starts off in Torino, we've got the first time trial of 8.3 kilometers, above 8 kilometers, so not a prologue. Nonetheless, since it's in Pro Cycling Manager under 20 kilometers, that means that the prologue stat matters more than the time trial stat. Unfortunately, in its current form, there's currently a bug in Pro Cycling Manager 2021, that means that the prologues are very much spent on the sprint stat. So, uh, sorry Archibald, but you're not gonna have a great time. The race has officially begun, we've got Ganas Alter Ego Zana on the road. Let's take a look at the riders that are presented in this Giro d'Italia. We've got Kro Andersen at DSM, not a wonderful team there, Jai Hindley as the climber I'm guessing. Then we've got Hirschi at UAE, we don't have a Pogacar here so that's good. A Conti, we've got a Ulisi at the Koenig, Cavagna, Ballerini, Cataneo, Cavendish. Lampard, Devenheins, Merku, and Stibar. We've got Grupama with Thibaut Pino as leader, I'm guessing, from the uh, list that is presented here. Lotto Sudal with Caleb Ewan, Tonsihind as well, and uh, that's about it with their big names. Gilbert here as well. Bernal's here for Ineos Grenadines. Dennis as well. Martinez as well. And uh, Geraint Thomas as well. Kagan Hart as well. That's an insane team. Alpeson arrives with Merlier as a sprinter, and that's about it for that squad. When it comes to Quebec Assos, Nizzolo, Pozzo, Vivo. We've got Bissiger, Barta, Kurt Nielsen, and Uran. Hugh Carfi as well at Evadication First. Sepp von Marke at Israel together with Chris Froome. Oh my goodness. And he's already on the road. 70 Mountain, 70 Hill. He got destroyed. And uh, Stevens here as well. Vincenzo Nibali, Antonio Nibali. We've got Kreisweg at this race. Vingegaard as well. Tony Martin, Affini, so some good time trollers in the camp of Yumbo. Affini more than Martin these days. Wilco Kelderman, Buchmann, Fabro, Kemna, Edith Schelling, very proper team at Bora. Coffet is presented with Laporte here as well, and that's about it, I'm guessing, for that team. I uh, don't expect too much from them, to be honest. 
Fulsang at Astana. No Vlazov presented here, so looks like Fulsang is the leader for Astana here. Mohoric at Bahrain. Is Landa here? No, he's not. Jack Haig is here. Juno Mader. And that's about it for the big guns there. Colbrelli for the uh, sprints and hilly sprints. Milberg at Movistar. We've got Serrano, Jorgensen, and uh, Samitier, I'm guessing. Jan Hertz, nothing too special at Intermarché. Rob Stannard at Bike Exchange. No Yates available as well. And then Sean Poussin at La Mondial. Citroën, we've got Jungles here as well. Final two teams, Bardiani with Fiorelli and so forth. Visconti present as well. Lastly, Androni, and that is with breakaway riders from what I can tell. In all honesty, GC-wise, there is not too much strength here. Should I change plans and go for top 5 in GC with Fortunato? I think I might genuinely do that. I'll try and do a decent time trial with him at least. As you can see, I'm on purpose doing a low effort with Fetter and Gavazzi. We ended on 2 minutes with Gavazzi. I'm gonna try and do even worse on Fetter because I gotta take time if I want to send these lads in the break in the first few days. Until the sprint stat bug is fixed, we're gonna have to resort to the 99 at the start strategy because it seems to be working the most consistently from the attempts I've had so far. Let's take a look what Archibald is doing at the end of this time trial. We had the first time on 0 seconds at the first time check, probably a worse time at the end. 47th on 29 seconds. Ah, oh, I hope they fix time trials ASAP. Let's take a look, how far behind can we end the time trial here? We're gonna be finishing on... 12 minutes and a half in this prologue. <laughs> Alban Messi, crazy man. Considering the time trial for Fortunato is gonna be pretty horrible anyway. Let's try and just go for a different strategy on him. We gotta try as much as possible, you know. I'm gonna go on like 87 for a bit. Let's try and keep that up for the entire time trial, perhaps. 23 seconds down at the uh, time check. Let's take a look at the finish line here. Hopefully Fortunato doesn't lose like a minute or something. It is... 53 seconds, it's not a minute, but it's still bad. I skipped a majority of the competition because I genuinely like don't know who could do well here with the new time trial system, sprint stat being so important and all. Bissiger is doing well though, as you can see on the uh, right top, he has the first time at the uh, first time check. Then again, Archibald had it earlier, so it doesn't exactly say you're gonna have a good time at the end, but Bissiger is most likely going to be the best time trialist here. Exactly, he wins the first time trial, the first stage of this Giro d'Italia in Torino. Stefan Bissiger, we're gonna be finishing, I think, like, 15th, almost 17th, perhaps. This means that he replaces his Malia Rosa with a Malia Rosa. <laughs> That's horrendous, mate. Eventually, we finished on 59 seconds, which is almost that minute I was trying to avoid, so not exactly amazing. Luckily, it's on Bissiger, who is not a competition GC-wise. In terms of GC, Ineos are the big winners, though. Geraint Thomas in 4th, Daniel Martinez in 5th, but... Where did Bernal finish? I'm guessing on around 30 seconds. Is that a good guess? 35, so it's actually not that much ahead of Fortunato. 24 seconds ahead. Obviously, at the moment, I'm not thinking about beating Bernal. Don't think about that. That's not the case. I do hope that I can uh, try and go for GC after seeing the start list here. And suddenly, after one day, everybody's happy. Okay, for the better, I guess. We've got a plus three expected race day condition on your boy Fortunato. Fitness peak has started, baby! Let's go! Let's hope this first week becomes a banger for the lad. This stage is not exactly something that uh, is looking too perfect for us. We've got a uh, sprinter in Wakerman, I'm guessing, so let's give it a try with him. But most importantly, let's try and take the Malia Azura with, I'm guessing, Albanese. He's on 12 minutes, so if he's not allowed to go in the break, no one will. It took a while to get it sorted, but I do think the break has been formed. Albanese in the first break, we have this Giro together with... Mattia Bice and Giovanni Visconti. We're gonna try and get the KOM points at that fourth cat climb to take home the first Malia Azura. 1.6 kilometers to go. I'm going to try and follow Bice for a second. There we go. On the left side of the road. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try and jump over in the last section right now on full attack mode. There we go. Let's try and get. Fast on the left side, Albanese versus... Ah, no, Visconti take... We, we take it at the right top. But I swear Visconti had it. I just robbed Bardiani of their first Malia Azura. I completely dropped back Albanese behind the peloton. He does not need to spend more energy. Meanwhile, I'm setting up a, a sprint train with Dina, Archibald, Fetter as lead out, and Wackerman as my sprinter for today. We've got proper 74 sprint with him. So who knows? We can dream. I'm gonna start sprinting with Archibald right now through this corner. 
Fetter is going to try and come out as we speak. While Wackerman's positioning is horrendous, this is Ewan. I'm going to try and follow Ewan's wheel instead. There we go. Let's try and follow. Let's try and sprint. Our positioning is horrible. We're never going to get through here. Oh my god, Nizolo is going to take the win. Caleb Ewan comes in second. Tim Metalier comes in third. We bottle the final sprint. Our uh, sprint was behind other teams in the last corner. So that's not going to work out. Second stage won by Giacomo Nizolo. He breaks the curse in game as well. Caleb Ewan with a decent sprint, but was also out positioned with a K to go. So uh, that's what happens if your positioning is not great. There we go, Vincenzo Albanese, the first time on the Giro d'Italia podium for our team. There we go, three points ahead of Visconti with two points, ahead of Bias with one point, and then Karen Thomas with 11 seconds? What the fuck? Honestly, not a bad stage for us. Not the sprint result we wanted, but we certainly got the KOM jersey result we wanted. Mali Azura is now ours, let's try and protect it on the next stage. A stage from Biela to Canale, the Taco Vanderhorn stage, but in all honesty, I think that this could be a Wackerman stage if we play it right. The man just entered fitness peak, which means that he's gonna be in splendid form, I can feel it. I want that plus five on the day. If that is the case, then I'm dreaming. Obviously, secondary goal is protecting that Malia Azura on those three climbs. Here we go, let's start off with the attack early on. The benefit of having a jersey is that we start at the front of the peloton. That's great. Two riders have bridged up. We've got Mikael Shirel and Damien Housen, both with 72-72 on Mountain and Hill. Honestly, with a race day condition, we are better than that. But obviously, they could have a race day condition as well. 1.4k to go, 1.3k. And are we going to see someone make the first move? I'm scared. I don't want to wait too long either. Ah, Shirel's going. I'm just gonna go 99. There we go. Albanese on the right, Shirel on the left. We're spending too much. We're spending too much. Are we gonna win? Nah, Houghton takes it. Oh, damn it. I went too early. Two kilometers to go towards the next KOM point. I put myself on 85 as we speak. I'm expecting an attack by someone. No, 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 not yet. 1.2, 1.1. Someone will have to go. Let's see if we can go ourselves right now. Sponge in the attack, not as hard. There we go, and now the last section, 99 again. There we go. Okay, we gotta play with that bar a tiny bit and hope that it works out. Because right now, it works and we are uh, now a point ahead in the classification. Let's try and go right now. There we go. Let's try half. Oh, he's done. He's completely done. Let's try and go 60 and let's try and save some energy in this descent. In the peloton, we are near the front with Fortunato. Wackerman, eh, he's having trouble. Let's try and get Gavazzi on him ASAP. Fetter, let's try and keep ourselves to the front as well. There we go. And Albanese can uh, keep on going. You never know if this will work or not. We've got two minutes on the peloton, so likely not. Court Nielsen is actually pacing us down now. Albanese at the front. That's a bummer. We're going to try and keep Wackerman up there. Ballerini is doing something. I'm just not sure what. Are they attacking? They are attacking. They are attacking. No, intermediate sprint. Are they really going for that intermediate sprint right now? You gotta be kidding me. Ballerini is. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, he is. I won't go for that. Let's try and sit up a tiny bit and let's hope we can get Wakamon and Fetter across as well. We've got 3.5k to go Nibali with an amazing attack at the front. And he seems to be getting away a tiny bit. Let's go 99 on Fortunato. Let's go, let's go, let's go to the right of the road and hope that this tempo is helping out. We're gonna go with Wackerman as we speak with 1k to go. Let's see what happens. We've got a stage win by Ballerini. Looks like everybody's back with energy. Wackerman for a top three. It's gonna be fourth, I'm afraid. Bernal sprints to second. We're gonna get third. Okay, I guess it's something, but what a messy stage. What a victory by Ballerini. He looked pretty much done when he went for those intermediate sprint points. Bernal seemed to have energy left. Second on the stage, taking bonus seconds with third. Luca Wackerman. Vincenzo Albanese is, uh, well, gaining more points, but not extending his lead, per se, because Hausen's pretty close behind. I think we can be proud about this podium, to be honest. It's our uh, first podium in the Giro, our first proper result in the Giro as well, when it comes to the final sprint. So, uh, despite the chaotic ending, still happy about it. Meanwhile, thanks to the time loss of many people in this race, Fortunato has moved up to 33rd in GC, still on 59 seconds. Next up, likely the uh, most dangerous one of these first four stages for GC. We've got Sestola as finish, Piacenza as starting point, and Nicole Passerini as the last climb. Let's try and go into the attack with two riders this time around. We've got Albanese and Archibald 
at the front of the peloton so we might as well use that to our advantage to uh make the early breakaway a duo attack let's see if we can uh put them on a decent pace and somewhat try and stay away no initial response for the rest of the peloton we're gonna focus on wackerman and fortunato plus four on both of them 1.4k to go towards the top here let's move it to 90 want to try and put some pressure we've lost archibald by the way because well it's quite simply this is a bit too hard for him let's do the sprint ourselves at this tempo for now let's go 99 on this last 400 meters against sepulveda oh we got it there we go good 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 that was a close one though that was a close one let's sit on 60 together with the lad the tempo in the peloton is literally insane on this climb they're flying towards the breakaway people are attacking and trying to bridge up including kemna Albanese is still looking good. Kevinal's catching up. We've got one kilometer towards the top of this KOM point. Let's see if we can get rid of Kemna somehow. <laughs> That's going to be difficult. Nine meters to go. Let's start our sprint right now. Let's try and get past Kemna on the left here. There we go. We kind of pushed Sepulveda. We're going too hard. We're going too hard. Kemna's going for it. Kemna's going for this. What are you doing, Kemna? Oh, man. He's getting the majority of the points. We get second on that. We're going to try and survive with Fortunato and the rest. Try to move forward ASAP. That was scary. 20 people left in this group. Wackerman desperately trying to work together with these lads here to get back to the front. Going to try and let Dina do some work as well in the group. But most likely, I think that we're going to be down to Fortunato and Albanese for the latter part of this race. Insane how fast this exploded. There goes the move. That is Polans. I will not respond to that. I can't. I physically can't afford to, and it's not really a problem because he's not considered a GC contender in my eyes. So I'm just going to try and sit up on 55, replenish all my yellow. These other people will likely come back, but at least we've got three extra teammates. Then that's an attack. That's an attack, and that's by Vincenzo Nibali. Here we go. Bernal's moving to the front together with EF's car and Kafi. And they're trying to close down Nibali as we speak. Albanese is done for again. He's going to be dropping back towards the Wackerman group. Bernal's done. I'm going to go. Bernal's done for. We got to go. There we go. There we go. How is that possible? Why did he attack so much then? Let's try and go 85 relay. That's too much. Let's try and go 70 relay. We've got 20 seconds on this group. No spacing now to get with Kreiswijk. My God, what is going on in this stage? We can take time in GC if we play it right. Into the descent before the final climb. 14 seconds on the next group, led by Pinot in the descent. On paper, I'd say that is uh, an advantage for us, but at this point, I don't know. Energy gel on Fortunato. 50 seconds to the front of the race. Still Jan Polans in the descent. This is crazy. We've got a 14-man group chasing us. We've got half yellow. It's going to be a tough one. But the climb is roughly 4 kilometers, so I can go 85 from the start, I think. Bronski's trying to close us down. Nibali on the right, trying to close us down as well with an attack. Bevan trying to move up. 3.5 kilometers of climbing. Let's not spend as much. Let's go 78 for now. Kemna on the left. We've got Pino on the left. I'm not going to try and respond at that speed. I'm going to try and spend my own speed here. We've got 65 on us right now. Let's not go too much. There we go. Let's keep it going. Pino's done. Nibali with an attack. Can I respond to that? Probably not. I'll go 80 for now and see if that's enough. Let's try and go 85. Tempo is done. Pinot's done for. We've got Full Sang done for. Nibali's done for. Oh my god. Can we win the stage? Final kilometer towards the top. Bernal's done for in our wheel. I'm gonna go... Not yet, not yet, not yet. I want to go ham in about 200 meters. There we go, let's hammer it with Fortunato, Fortunato with the attack, is this going to be the stage when I don't know, there's a descent coming, come on, come on, come on, let's keep on going, let's keep on going, we've got 1.4 kilometers to go, an uphill section in the last kilometer, but Fortunato's getting away, Fortunato is getting away, and we're gonna be taking home a first stage win, with Eolo Cometa, Lorenzo Fortunato wins in Sestula, the second place is for Kelderman it seems, in a sprint and what a failure from the GC lads they started attacking with 50k to go that's not how to beat Aolo fucking Cometa mate there we go on the podium of the Giro d'Italia in the first place of a stage Lorenzo Fortunato not on the Monte Zoncolan on Sestola from the elite GC group 27 seconds on the others which means that we move up 
into the top five, perhaps? Ah, sixth, almost on 12 seconds of Wilco Kelderman. You knew Malia Rosa last time he wore it, he lost it on the uh, Stelvio stage, I think. Garfi on nine seconds, Polans and Pino as well. Polans most likely going to drop out of that. Malia Azura still for Albanese ahead of Lorenzo Fortunato. It's a Aolo party at the top of this classification. What a stage. Absolutely splendid. We've got our first spot with Lorenzo Fortunato. 27 seconds on the competition. But all in all, it is indeed a victory in the Giro d'Italia. I'm going to show you that I'm playing on Extreme because a lot of people might not believe it after seeing that stage, but it is still the case. Nonetheless, no champagne yet because if we can get one stage win, we can get more. So let's try and get more stage wins. Gonna try and sprint already with Albanese to try and get past this man. Oh, no, 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 no. Horrendous position by Wackerman. I'm gonna start sprinting. There we go. Let's try and get around in the middle, perhaps. But it looks like Pascalon might take it. And Albanese gets caught. Wackerman for another podium. I think it is. Third position, yes. Just behind Nizolo. Melier takes the stage. Another podium in the sprint. <laughs> We're getting used to it. Wackerman with that third spot. When it comes to GC, the stage obviously did nothing. We're still on 6th on 12 seconds of the Malia Rosa. On to a mountain stage, finishing in Ascoli. We've got a stage that could go to the breakaway, to be honest, but I'm not sure about it. We'll try and put people in the breakaway to try and get it. You never know. But most importantly, Fortunato has a good day, so let's try and use it in the end. Oh my god, we've got a plus 5 on Fortunato. Do I go in the break then? Albanese would need to, but the rest of the team kind of needs to focus on your boy right now because this is a real opportunity today. I think today might be the start of our problem. The problem that Albanese is not the best climber in this race for KOM points. So we might have to switch through and take someone else in the breakaways in the coming stages. Did I just accidentally spend my energy gel on Albanese? Yep, I did on the first climb of the day. So uh, that's not great. Three kilometers towards the top of this climb. Just trying to hang on as much as possible while Davide Villela is setting up a pace. Hausen trying to take over. Hausen, one of our competitors, 40 km jersey. One of the riders is done on the left, Warbass. And we're going to try and finish third on this KOM. Nah, it's going to be, oh my god, Warbass, really? You violent man. But his last climb, three kilometers of climbing, I'm setting my own pace. Otherwise, I'm not making it to the top. Let's hope this works better. But these other guys are just plainly better at climbing than me. Let's hope I can come back in the descent, perhaps, but it's not looking likely. I think I'm going to have a really hard time getting to the front of the race. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Albanese on 65. He can ride the rest of the stage at tempo until he gets caught by the peloton. And then he can be used as a uh, domestique for whoever of the team that is left. Hopefully Fortunato, of course. Fortunato needs to move forward again. Let's do it on Effort Cursor 68 right now, 69.70. There we go. Let's see what the rest of the peloton is about to do. 9.3 kilometers to go. And we're still looking good. Falgren is done for. Bissiger is still left. Williams as well pacing. We're near Bernal on the right of us. So, so far, no struggle. Let's move towards 80 so we can move up in the group a tiny bit because I feel like the tempo is about to skyrocket pretty soon. 7.5k to go. We've got Bernal moving up, so let's try and do so as well on 85 for a tiny bit. Let's try and not get blocked right now. Maya Rosa with us. We've got to move on the front there. I hope that is uh, not a crazy attack. It's Vincenzo Nibli again. What a surprise. I'm going to try and put myself on 80 right now. Energy Shell on Wackerman as we speak. Fortunato, keep going. 85, you got plenty of energy, mate. Let's go 80 for a tiny bit, and then up it again with a good... Uh, Three kilometers left in the stage, but so far, no real response by anyone. We've got attacks. Haig is going. Let's go towards 85 because we can't afford it. And let's try and keep that going. Haig with Hindley in the wheel. Hindley seems to be struggling, trying to follow the pace. We've got 2.9 kilometers left in the race. Let's try and up it towards... Nah, it's still good. It's still very, very good. Let's switch towards Fancelu. And let's move up on 90. We can afford it. We can afford it. Plenty of energy left. And a Giselle on Fortunato. We're not going to win the stage. That's going to be for Sander Arme or Davide Villella. I don't know, but let's take a look at the peloton because that's the most important spot. Let's go 93 here for a second and try and sprint that towards the top. Arme is winning the stage. Villella in second. Fortunato is going to try and come with the best here. And we're going to try and sprint away from the others. Bernal's done for. Let's hope for a gap. That is a tiny bit of a gap. 15 seconds perhaps, which is good. 
That uh, might mean the Malia Rosa. Oh my god. Here we go. We've got 15 seconds. I think we have it. I think we have it. Sorry, Arme, you're not the center of attention right now because we've got the Malia Rosa with Eolo Cometa in the first Giro we ride. Lorenzo Fortunato, 12 seconds ahead of Hugh Carfi, Polan Sinfad, 16 seconds down, and Bernal in fourth. Wow. I didn't see this one coming, but wow. When it comes to the uh, Malia Azura, we lose it towards Vilela, but I guess I'm fine with replacing that by the Malia Rosa. Didn't see this one coming. Holy crap. The fitness peak on Fortunato is really delivering, that's for sure. My god. One more stage to go in today's episode, and I don't think we're gonna lose the Malia Rosa today, because uh, it's a flat stage. We've got a bit of an uphill sprint. There he is, Lorenzo Fortunato, the man, the myth, the legend. He's wearing that shirt among his shoulders, the pink jersey. We're living in the clouds right now when it comes to our performances, but we gotta keep in mind, we're now at the top, but it could all fall apart in the second and third week, because our fitness peak ain't gonna last three weeks, so... We're gonna try and uh, hope that we can take a lot of time in the first portion where we have the fitness peak to try and uh, defend it in the last week. But I don't think we'll win this Giro. I think that's impossible. I think it's gonna be nice if we can top five. Ah, that's gonna be tough though, but I feel like it's a nice goal. 7k to go. We're setting up for Wackenham plus you on the day. That's 77 hill, 74 sprint. Tiny hill in the end, so I decided to use Archibald uh, not at all. And go for a hilly rider, as third rider. You never know, that might come into play. Fetter is now spending all his energy in the first position. Let's lower that towards 97. And then energy gels on everybody else. Fortunato in the wheel just to stay safe because we don't want him to lose time today. I'm going to try and switch through towards Gavazzi as we speak. There we go. Last three kilometers, the hill is upcoming. Fetter is blocking us. There we go. Let's keep on going. Let's try and sprint. Two kilometers to go. I'm going too early. I'm going too early. I'm going too early, I'm afraid. Gonna sprint with Fortunato as well, just in case. Into this corner with Wackerman, but I think it's too early, mate. Wackerman, you never know. Oh my god, that acceleration by Ewan. That's insane. He's winning ahead of Nizzolo. Ballerini in third, I think. Merlier in fourth. Wackerman in fifth. A top five. And Fortunato finishing safely in the peloton on stage seven. We finish off today's episode with a top five in the sprint. With Lorenzo Fortunato and Malia Rosa, which is the thing I expected the least. Malia Azura not among our shoulders, Albanese in second on that. Ciclamino also not among our shoulders, but that was not really expected. But Wackerman still close, to be honest. And Lorenzo Fortunato obviously also in the white jersey. So far, an amazing Giro d'Italia for the team. Like, genuinely, we got our stage win, our first one. We've got... Amalia Rosa among our shoulders at the end of today's episode, which is crazy to think about, and uh, so much opportunity to come, because his fitness peak is not done yet. Oh my god, duration 18 to 24 days? Really? That means his fitness peak will last until the end of the Giro? What? If that is the case, you never know what might happen in the next two weeks. We'll be starting off the next episode with Guardia San Framondi, a hill stage. The day after, we've got Campo Felice, a bit of a gravel section on the uh, finish line, at least the last two kilometers, so curious what that's gonna give. Foligno coming after a flat stage. We've got Montalcino, the uh, non-cobbly version, which is great for us because our riders do not have cobbles. Bagno di Romagna, a transitioning stage, but could still uh, be pretty exciting in PCM. Stage 13 is a flat stage to Verona, and stage 14 is the following. Monte Zoncolan, the stage Fortunato won in real life. Let's hope he's got plus 5 on the staging game as well, so we can repeat it. Honestly, I don't know what to say about this episode. It's been amazing. We've got a stage win, we've got a Malia Rosa among our shoulders. But I'm kind of scared because, despite it showing that the fitness peak should last until at least the end of the Giro, who knows how long it will last. If it does last that long, then. Should I start dreaming about more than a top five in this Giro? Anyway, what a ride so far. What a Giro so far, but it's not over yet. We're seven days in, 14 to go, and I guess I'll see you next time for the next part. If you like this video, then tap that like button. If you didn't tell me what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.